Well, whether she has only a few precious minutes uh, a week to read or she devotes time every day to devour the latest bestseller, books make a great gift for mom on Mother's Day. So we went to our friend Annie Metcalf at, Ma at Majors and Quinn to get some great recommendations. You uh, took this assignment to heart. We talked about Mother's Day book ideas, and you found five fabulous books that all have mothers in them or a mother role in them, right? Correct. Uh, yeah, I, I went very specific with the assignment because, you know, there's always so many options that I decided to just stick with. What are some ideas if you want your Mother's Day gift to be about motherhood um, for whoever you're gifting to? So I'm going to start with uh, this wonderful uh, book of nonfiction essay writing by Belle Boggs called The Art of Waiting, and it's actually from local publisher Grey Wolf Press. Uh, it's just a beautiful exploration of the concept of fertility um, mixed with Boggs' own literal fertility journey. Um, so she speaks to many couples about their process of uh, becoming pregnant or having a family in another way, um, but also mixed with, with some memoir style, you know, personal experience. So that's a really lovely piece of memoir and essay. So topical for so many people. Yes, exactly. And then for the fiction, this is a, just a favorite novel of mine called Inheritance from Mother by Mine Mizumura. It's translated from Jap Japanese. Um, it was originally published in serialized form, which is just like one short chapter per entry in a, in a newspaper and then was put together as a novel. It's about a middle-aged woman dealing with both the end of her marriage at the same time as caring for her aging mother is getting more intense and more demanding. Um, and it really plays upon and interrogates the Japanese stereotype ideal of a selfless mother and a dutiful daughter. Um, it offers a more specific and realistic view of women in Japan that can also resonate ac across cultures to anyone who has a mother relationship. Oh yeah, and anyone that's in the sandwich generation like yes, me. Exactly. Our viewers. Okay. Yeah, it's really powerful. powerful. So going to more of a humor uh, approach, I have this book that I love. Um, it's Dear Girls by Ali Wong. If you're not familiar with Ali Wong, she has two absolutely hilarious stand-up specials on Netflix, both of which were filmed when she was very visibly pregnant. Um, and uh, was about that process and also about many other things. Um, but this book of essays is addressed to those two children who she had after her stand-up specials and is a sort of like raucous and profane, you know, advice for your very distant future girls. Um, many of the stories are about her relationship, her marriage, and then her motherhood, but there's also just really good comic essays in there. I have to check her out on Netflix. I absolutely love her, but I haven't seen the specials. So, so thank funny. you for that too. That's a good tip as well. <laughs> Um, and back to nonfiction, uh, we've got Braiding Sweetgrass. Uh, people might already be familiar with this. This is really, truly a modern classic of nonfiction and it's specifically environmental writing by Robin Wall Kimmerer, also from local press, Milkweed Editions. Um, and while it's certainly focused more on um, Kimmerer's blend of Western and indigenous plant knowledge, it is a science book. It is a nature writing book. Um, and the message is really about gratitude and respect for the earth and what you know we can learn from plants. Uh, there are also themes of her own family and motherhood throughout this book and those were the parts that really stuck with me was stories about her relationship with her daughters and then connecting that to her broader scientific message. Oh I love that. Well a science a scientist and a mom that loves nature, Laura Betker needs to have that book. That would be perfect for her. I'll Absolutely. have to come get that. All right number five. Five, uh, just finally, I want to highlight this local uh, publication called Rock by the Waters, Poems of Motherhood. Uh, it's an anthology put together by Athena Kildegard and Margaret Hassey, who are um, just wonderful. There's a really diverse group of poets in here, including local favorites like Hyde Erdrich, Connie Wanick, and Joyce Sutphin. And all of these, there's tons of poems in here, and they cover everything, uh, the joys, the challenges, even like the danger and the spirituality of motherhood. Um, sort of a, an endlessly interesting topic and they have compiled a really fascinating and, and meaningful group of poems. Oh, well, I love books as an idea for mother for a Mother's Day gift anyway, because it's kind of fun because you could pass it on to your mom, then she could have you read it. You could set, yes. pass it over to your sister who's a mom. And so books are such a, a wonderful gift in any holiday, but thank you for picking those five for us. We will put all five on our website so folks can check them out. And again, Majors and Quinn, great place to go for any kind of gift idea for Mother's Day as well. Thank you, Annie. Yes, thank you so much, Belinda.